I'm Jess Battle with Reed Instruments. I'm going to talk to you about our SD4023 Data Log and Sound Level Meter. All in all, the unit's very easy to use, but there's a couple tricks that I think I can help you out with. The first one, for whatever reason, you want to make sure the SD card is in the unit before you turn it on. So I did that, I'll turn the unit on. I've already formatted, set everything up, but I might not have formatted the card even if I thought I really did. So let's go back to our menu and make sure. I'm going to hit the set button, hold that down until we get into the menu. We're going to scroll through until we find the SDF. It's on no. We're going to select it to put it to yes. Hit enter. You have to hit enter a second time until you see it start flashing and then it'll move on. The reason we do that is because when you format the card, any data that's on it's going to be lost. So it's kind of giving you a second chance to make sure that you really do want to format that card. So now we're back in the main menu. There's a couple things we can set up here. You know, you're not an expert, you're not really sure what all these settings mean. Let me, let me walk you through this. In general, you want to be on A. That's closest to the human ear. There's reasons why you might want to be on C, but you probably know what that reason is. So if you don't know, stick with A. Same thing with the range. You can set it up in certain ranges. It's a little more accurate if you're within a certain range, but if there's readings outside of that range, it's going to show up uh, on the logging as, as a 999, and you'll say, hey, what's going on here? So I highly recommend just keep it in auto. The last thing is, should I be in fast or slow? In general, you want to be in slow. It's not quite as accurate, but the thing is, is the reading will change so quick when you're in fast, it's just going to give you a little snapshot, where if you're in slow, it's almost like a little average, so that way it's going to be more representative of what's actually going on in, in the, the area you're sampling over time. So, in general, you want to be in A for your time weight, you want your range to be on auto, and you want to be set up in slow. Let's start logging. We have that all set up. All you have to do is hit the record button. You see record come up here in the top. Then to start recording, you hit the logger button. You'll see it start flashing. That means you're reading. If you need to pause or if you're ready to stop, hit the logger button first and you'll see that record stops flashing. Before you take the card out, hold the record button down for about two seconds until you see the icon disappear at the top. Now you're ready to take your SD card out and download your results. Again, that's the SD4023. If you have any questions, talk to your local